Hi everybody, today I am going to show you how to use the schedule wizard for bus and cable car simulator. First thing you want to do is open the program up. It can be found in the bin subfolder in the main game folder. Next, enter the line number. It can be any number you want as long as it does not exist already. Then enter the root number, 1. Enter a desired name for the starting point and destination. I will make a very simple route for this demonstration, going from the bus depot to the Broadway tunnel. I will make it a full-time route, so I will select day and night here. Now is where it gets a bit more tricky. You will have to enter the waypoint codes for the bus stops you want the route to stop at. To get the codes, you need to download a special template package from the website I am showing here, the TML Studio Support Center, on the links page. Open the map ID.jpg in Windows Photo Viewer. On this map you will see the codes of all the available bus stops in the game world. As you can see, the first bus stop of my route is number 808, so I will enter it into the program as shown. followed by 810, 819, 858, and 879. You will also have to set the timetable for the route, by entering the travel time between the bus stops. Since this is just a demonstration, I will just set the travel time between all the bus stops to 5 minutes, as shown. Now you will have to set all the possible starting times for the route. Again, this is just a demonstration, so I will just set the start times to once every hour for 4 hours in the form shown. Now you will have to create the route map, so it will appear in the game as a line on the map like all the default lines in the game. Open the map clear.jpg and paint, and draw the line of the route on the map. When you have drawn it, you now have to resize the map to 4096 by 4096, or else it will show up all weird in the game. After that, save a map as a JPG with a name like the one shown, in the following directory. Main game folder. Data, Strings, Schedules, Bus. Now, go back to the Schedule Wizard and click Map.
Then locate the map image file you just saved from Paint, as shown here. Finally, click Validate to make sure you did everything correctly. If the schedule is valid, you may now save it. Save it as an SCH file in the same folder that the map image is in, like this. Now the route should be drivable in the game. But we are not done yet, as we still have to create the return route. In the demonstration, I will use the same map image file for the return, and everything else will be done the same way, but the route number will be 2 instead of 1, and the bus stop codes will be reversed. Just do everything as shown here. Now that everything is finished, let's drive the route to see how it works. As you can see, it works perfectly. Note that whatever you entered into the destination field in the schedule wizard will appear on the destination sign.
sorry, I only have cash. A ticket? Like a ticket. 